deadly morning in the Middle East. A suicide bomber in northern Israel has killed 10 and wounded dozens of Terrorist attack on a bus in northern Israel Sunday. At least eight people killed, possibly uh, more than numbers not yet ascertained, definitely. A suicide bomber. 39 people are reported wounded with some... Definitely a terror attack again. Terror. Once considered an exclusively Israeli problem, now a major threat facing the entire world. President George W. Bush called terror the most pressing challenge to freedom and democracy in the 21st century. But how do we meet that challenge? The International Policy Institute for Counterterrorism, or ICT, was established in 1996 as an independent body for research and policymaking under the auspices of the Interdisciplinary Center in Herzliya, or IDC. IDC is one of the few academic institutions to offer a comprehensive course of study in counterterrorism. The ICT staff combines, on the one hand, scholars of counterterrorism coming from the academic world, dealing with different disciplines, such as psychology, sociology, political science, and law. And on the other hand, the former heads of security services in Israel, general security service, military intelligence, and police. That combination of academia, and individuals from the field is what makes ICT a very unique staff. Working as an independent research body has numerous advantages. You set the agenda. You also have uh, a much uh, wider leeway to try and introduce your input to the uh, decision-making process of governments, of the state. You are free to choose the issues that you want to deal with because you think that they should be given a, a priority. You can express your uh, views and opinions uh, freely. You are not operating under the rules of confidentiality and, uh, and compartmentation and a need-to-know basis, so these constraints that uh, exist in, in, in uh, intelligence and security services uh, who operates for Government. ICT advises world leaders, from prime ministers and presidents to chiefs of staff, and are frequent guests on all major networks. ICT's major international conferences also attract top policymakers, senior military officials, and leading scholars from around the world. Altogether, these conferences gain very good reputation within the academic world and the practical world, uh, having a serious talk and discussion about the phenomenon of terrorism, counterterrorism, dilemmas that are relevant to this uh, specific phenomenon. ICT's extensive international ties are also leading the way to promote worldwide cooperation in the fight to eradicate terrorism. I met with the individual scholars and experts of the ICT and I also took part in several conferences that were organized by the institution. So I found that uh, the institution is, uh, is a very important repository of information and knowledge and experience about the issue of uh, counter-terrorism. It also has a role for an international connectivity between institutions for, uh, for handling this kind of a problem and at the same time it makes its expertise available to different governments. One of the Institute's most effective tools is its unrestricted intelligence services. The ICT website offers the world's largest data bank on international terrorist activities. In fact, the ICT website is the only such site outside of the U.S. recommended by the American State Department. ICT, the International Policy Institute for Counterterrorism.